Hi everyone, welcome again to ASP.NET Core MEC tutorial. Since we are developing an ASP.NET Core MEC application, during the development time, there are several things that you must know. When you run your project on the development machine by pressing F5 from your Visual Studio or Control F5, or if you are using .NET command that is .NET run, then how the default port gets set to the application, how the browser gets open. So we will understand about all these things in this video. Basically in this video we will understand about launch settings.json file. Let's have a look what we are going to learn in this video. In this video we will understand what is launch settings.json file. Where is this file located? What all properties is available inside this file? How to set the default port for the application? When you run your application by using any medium on your development machine, then a default port is assigned to your application. Where is that port located? Can I change it or not? So we will understand all these things in this video. To understand about the launch settings, let's open the Visual Studio. In this Visual Studio, I'm using the same application that we have created for the bookstore application. And if you will open the solution explorer of this code, then you will see there is a folder properties. If you will expand this folder, then you will see there is a file launch settings.json. If you are having any kind of confusion that why this folder is not looking like a proper folder. So this is because this is a default folder which is used inside the .NET Core and this folder has some specific meaning to this application. That is why there is the symbol inside of this folder. But if you will open this code into your folder explorer just like this. Then you can see we have the actual properties folder and inside this properties folder we have the launch settings and json file okay now let's click on this launch settings.json file here inside this file you will see we have two sections first one is ias settings and the second one is profiles first profile is ias express and the second one is with the name of the project which is webgentle.bookstore so here you can see webgentle.bookstore when you run this application on your local development machine then ultimately you are using any one of these profile either you are using this is express profile or you are using this webgentle.bookstore profile okay let's have a look on what details are available inside these profiles command name is express so when you run your application ultimately behind the code one command is required and to run on the is express we need is express command then launch browser when you run your application and you want your browser to be open automatically then you have to set it true over here environment variable in case you want to set the environment variable for your development machine then you can define it over here by default it is development that is why it is written over here development okay and some of the details of this is express is written inside this is setting since is express is just a small form of is server that is why few settings are available over here the application url it means when you will run your code by using this is profile then this will be the default url of your application here is the port of your application 65352 if you want to update the default port for this application then you can make some changes here in this line okay and if you are using your application on https then you can define your port over here now let's go back to the another profile which is webgentle.bookstore here the command name is project launch browser is true application url is this so just have a look there is a difference in between the port when you will run your application using is express then the default port will be this one and if you will run your application without using is express that is by using kestrel so if you are not using is express ultimately we will be using kestrel so if you are running your application by using kestrel server then these settings are available so in that scenario the port will be 5000 now let's see some settings in the visual studio and if i click on this drop down then you can see we have is express and then we have the second profile also over here webgentle.bookstore so you can choose any one of the profile by using this drop down if you are using is express then your application will be running on the port which is 65352 if you will use your profile this one webgentle.bookstore then the is express will not work only the application will be working on kestrel server 
so by default first let's understand about the OS Express now let's press ctrl F5 here you have to notice the port of this application which is 65352 and this port is coming from this place 65352 let's close it and let's just update it so now I'm writing 65353 and if I press ctrl F5 again And this time you can see the port of the application is 65353. We are still running the same application. Let's close this again. And now instead of using this IS Express profile, I want to run my application by using Kestrel server. So I can update the settings in this drop down. I can choose now the general load bookstore which is the second profile. Let's choose this one. Okay, it is selected now. And now let's press Ctrl F5. This time you can see we got this console window. Here you can see the port is HTTP localhost 5000. Since this time we are running the application by using the Kestrel server. So first we go to this window and then we go to the browser. And in the browser also you can see the port is 5000 and we got the same message. And now suppose instead of using 5000, I want to run my application on 5001. And this time to run this application, I will be using .NET CLI. Let's open this code into the file explorer. And now let's open the command prompt over here and to run the application using dotnet cli we simply have to type dotnet and run and press enter this time we are running the application using kestrel server not the is express this time you can notice the port of the application is 5001 one thing you have noticed that when we run the application then the browser gets open automatically and these settings are coming from this place launch browser true if i make it to the false and let's change it back to the is express save the changes and press f5 or click on this button this time you can see that the application is running but there is no default browser if i open this url in any one of the browser then you will see the rendering of this particular application in that browser but by default no browser will get open because we have made these settings to false remember guys this launch settings.json file is not required on the production server this is just for the development machine so whatever you will write inside this file that will be available only for the development machine for other configurations which are required into the application we use some other file which is app settings that we will learn in the upcoming videos but for now just understand that this launch settings file is used for the development machine that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day